Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where during a recent live stream I aimed to complete the shortest of the Savoia Marchetti S55 challenges and that is this flight from Orbitello to Istanbul. We have finished the first two legs of the flight all the way up to Athens and so this is the flight from Athens to Istanbul. Uh, of course it's not going to register the fact that I completed the challenge because it didn't quite get the part where I finished the first flight but I'm going to complete the flight anyway. I have the proof that I need to demonstrate that I actually did the flight so I'm just gonna proceed and we'll make it to Istanbul and well there will be fireworks as it turns out. So here I am starting it up I had shut it down completely on the after the flight into Athens so we are in Athens and I'm starting the engines uh, though on the first attempt on the starter I didn't hold it for long enough gotta try that again. The sound you hear is the APU, actually. It apparently has an APU. I very much like this plane. It's a very quirky plane. Very sort of different, well, as you can see. Now, having gotten the rear engine started, I really needed to turn because otherwise we would beach, and I had beached in the previous video. So I did not want to do that again. And we've got both of them started now, very simple. And I still got the tags up for people, but I'll turn that off during this flight. But first, we should take off. And now the whole flight uh, from Orbitello started at dawn. And as it turns out, they sort of planned it so that this flight would end basically at dusk. So that was sort of nice. And this is picking up exactly where we left off with the same conditions, same fuel. Basically, it ends up being a single fuel tank to get from Orbitello to Istanbul. And here we are passing by the Parthenon. Uh, take another look during the live stream. One of only two monuments that we will really see. Uh, the other one being the Hagia Sophia when we get to Istanbul. But uh, This is a very nice model of the Parthenon. With its huge wing, the S55 doesn't really like to go down, and this is the S55X, which has more powerful engines. Uh, so you have to throttle down a lot in order to keep it out of the red zone on the speed. During this long flight, I decided to play around with the reshades, and so I have reshade in, as you can see, and that was sort of a more 1970s look, and I tried for an older look here, a sort of a tinted black and white sort of thing there and I'll be playing around with that after all it's a more than two hour flight uh, what else I'm gonna do <laughs> so uh, it's live streaming it and I was gonna mess around a little bit and so here's the interior with this tint I mean it looks sort of classic right I thought it was a pretty good feel it's not exactly like uh, old movie style but it's close and the plane always looks amazing very amazing I had to point out where the cockpit was to the audience. I, I don't think they quite understood where it was, uh, that it was underneath the engine there at the center of the wing. And this is obviously a different reshade. This is a little bit older style, maybe even a silent movie style. Actually, this, the music, which was just playing randomly from VLC Media Player, this is from OC Remix, sort of had a silent movie flavor to it at this point. So there we go, we are now past Greece. Well, this is the Aegean Sea now, so not exactly past Greece, but it depends where you draw that line. But uh, past the main part of Greece, and this is the island of Lesbos, which I believe is still part of Greece. But uh, yeah, the mainland Greece we passed, this is Lesbos, and which is just off the coast of Turkey. And the sun is rapidly setting. So that's the look of the plane with the sun behind us, which we'll get to see a few times. As we made landfall in Turkey itself, I noticed that there was a fairly big mountain, and so I headed towards it, and it turns out this was Mount Ida. Uh, well, that's what it was called in antiqu antiquity. It was fairly close to the city of Troy. Uh, these days it's called Goose Mountain in Turkish. Uh, I'm not going to try to say the Turkish, but it's called Goose Mountain. And uh, so here we are flying over it. So that was Mount Ida in the background there. And our wonderful plane flying along. And trying a few other reshades here as usual. Just tweaking the little settings. 
trying to get a good flavor for it. After all, this plane was from the late 1920s and early 1930s, so it's nice to get an appropriate look for it. But of course, they had actual color in those days in real life. It's just that the films of the plane would be uh, tinted like this potentially or something like that. But of course, not with the heads up instruments. All those instruments, I couldn't get rid of them because it was a challenge. The, it gets rid of the option for that in the menu as far as I can tell. I couldn't see it. Normally I would have those gone. But yes, uh, looking back at the tail of the plane from inside the cockpit is nice because you can see behind you directly. And we saw the sun behind us and this is an interesting view. There's no uninteresting view of this plane, let's face it. It is a very bizarre plane. And so now we're headed directly to Istanbul with the sun rapidly fading some nice clouds to give it some character here and so that's how it looks with the reshade uh, this is how it looks without the reshade so actually in this case it's probably better not to have the reshade <laughs> so it's just a much more vibrant sort of situation there yes uh, nice sunset for us and there's Istanbul right there we can only see a slight glimmer of it right now I don't have any special scenery for Istanbul, unfortunately. There was a scenery pack for Istanbul, but I haven't carried it over after the versions. I don't think it's been updated since the sim came out. It would be nice to get some good scenery. For some reason, we had fireworks at Istanbul. I'm not too sure. Maybe that was part of the challenge. I don't know if that, that was added by a mod or something. I don't have great buildings, except for the Hagia Sophia and some other sites that the stock sim has in it. I don't have any... Uh, particular scenery here so well we got fireworks for some reason and so here we're passing by the Ataturk International Airport the older international airport for for Istanbul and lots of nice buildings so I mean it looks actually pretty good at, at night especially with the fireworks but uh, yeah the place where we have to land is that little uh, marina or wharf that's right in front of us right now. Of course, I have to slow down and turn around to do that. But first, I wanted to fly by the Hagia Sophia. That's what we have in front of us there. Actually, there's two mosques. Uh, I, I, I mixed them up, I think. I think I don't know if I'm looking at the Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque. They're like right next to each other, and they look very similar. So I don't know which one I was actually looking at. Sorry. But anyway, they, they're both there. And here I am turning around and there's that target marina you can tell by the little bit that's uh, jutting out there and so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to land there uh, the GPS they insisted on putting a GPS in this plane for some reason just to break the immersion but at least from that I can tell where I'm supposed to land and I know I'm supposed to land right in there the problem is, again, this does this plane doesn't like to go down very quickly, so I decided ultimately that I wouldn't be able to stop in time. It also doesn't have brakes, right? It doesn't have wheels. So I decided to divert to the left outside that so we don't beach ourselves, and so sort of land over here and then we would sort of taxi. I don't know what, what you call it when it's in water, but sort of taxi into the marina instead. So here we are, splashing down. I tried to time it with the music. The music's just playing randomly, so occasionally I will try to time things with music. With the music, and here, trying to turn around fairly quickly. And with the buildings off to the side there, you can see the map where we're trying to get into. We just need to hang in there. And here we are, finally at our destination at Istanbul. So, it's been an interesting flight with this certainly at a time with it uh, I if, if only it didn't go so slowly I would certainly be tempted to fly around the world in it it is such an interesting plane it is uh, sort of so distinctive that yeah it's very tempting but it also would take a very long time but anyway as I shut the plane down, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.